In today's video, I want to teach you how to highlight and remove duplicates in Excel. I think it's really important to understand how to highlight the data before you remove it, just so you know exactly what's being removed. So you can see here, I have a really simple column and it's just a list of names. If I wanted to highlight all of the duplicate values in here, what I'd do is I'd select on all the column, I'd select on all the names here, I'd go on the home tab and then under conditional formatting, I'll choose the highlight cells rule and then scroll down the bottom of duplicate values. And this is gonna say, let me highlight all of the duplicate values for you. And then you can go ahead and choose to fill it with whatever color works for you and simply select on okay. If you wanted to remove the duplicate values in this list, all you have to do is select on the data tab. And then on the right hand side of that, there is a section of data tools. And in the middle, there is a column with an X called remove duplicates. We're gonna select on this. And then it's going to ask if you want to remove duplicates. You can of course choose to tell it whether your table has a header or not. And then of course, if you had multiple columns, you could choose which ones you wanted to impact or not. Uh, for this example, we've only got one column. So we're gonna select on okay. Mm -hmm. And you'll see here, it tells us three duplicate values were found and there are seven that remain and we'll select on okay. And now we can see here, we only have unique values. I do have a bigger table though, and I do wanna walk you through how you could do this in a larger table. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of this and then I'm gonna go and I wanna show you the duplicate values again by highlighting the rule, choosing duplicate values, highlight the duplicate values and go okay. What I wanna call out is that you can see that Excel has found four duplicate values here where it's across the entire line. So if, if we select on the data tab, the remove duplicate option, that same dialog box is gonna pop up asking us to select which columns we want to impact, whether our table has a header or not. And you can go ahead and choose to select an individual or select all. In this example, I'm gonna say select all, and then we're gonna choose on okay. It tells us three duplicate values were found again and seven unique values remain. Even though we said remove duplicate values, we can see here that it has actually left duplicates in the department section. And that's because it was looking across the entire table for duplicates and not just on an individual column. So if I undo this really quickly, what you'll see here is that we have an, we have an entire row of duplicates in ID number two, four and ID number six. So when we apply the remove duplicates, it's not actually impacting the individual column, but looking across all of the data. And this is something you can miss if you don't highlight your duplicates before you go ahead and remove them.